Triple Tyke Special Export Ale. That's right, YouTubers. Gizzy Green Fingers is going to brew some beer. So, what we got in the box? We got 10 grams of brewer's yeast. We got some tea bags of hot pellets. And we got our malt extract. Four kilos of it. First things first, you're going to want to sanitise all your equipment. I used Brew Safe, a cleaner sanitizer. And you want to sanitise your airlock also. Everything that's going to could come in contact with the liquid. It's got one of them pull cap thingies. I'd be a bit careful. Just don't want it splattering everywhere. Look at that, that is like molasses that is. We could be here for quite a while. Now you're gonna to wanna to get your kettle and pour it in there and give it a good shake. Cause you wanna get every bit of that malt extract out of that bag. You pay for it, you want your money's worth. Helps if you put the lid on. And if you're really stingy like myself, you might want to get the kettle and fill it up once again. Try not to burn your finger in the process. And put the excess water from the kettle into your fermenting bucket. Now at this stage, it doesn't matter if it's hot water because you're not adding the yeast yet. If you add the yeast in boiling water you'll kill it. You need a temperature between 18 and 24 degrees. Then with your big sanitised spoon you want to give it a good stir. You want to melt away all that extract into the hot water. This could be a really nice brew. So you want 3 litres of hot water in total, I'm doing for 23 litres, the 3 litres of hot water is just to dissolve and melt the malt, the wort. So now this is where it gets interesting, you're going to want to add cold water now from the tap to make up the 23 litres that you need. So it's a juggling game between hot and cold because you need that temperature between 18 to 24. Now the good thing about adding water from the tap is that it's adding lots of oxygen into that wort. So when you add your yeast, it's going to give it that kick start that you want. Oh yeah. Yep, 23 litres, it's a lot of water. Soon to be beer, oh yeah.
don't forget a sticky thermometer because you'll need that keep an eye on the temp and what we reading 20 <clears throat> so you can go up to 24 no higher right I'll kill your yeast And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, we are at 23 litres of a lovely Gizzy Green Fingers special brown ale. Look at that. Now, oh, temperature are we at? 22. 22, so that's fine to start adding your yeast. Oh yeah. So let's go and get that yeast. There we have it, our beer's yeast. And just sprinkle that on top, like so. Now, nowhere in the instructions does it say to stir it in, but I've made alcohol before and I've always stirred it in and I've not had any problems. So, I'm a stirrer. I like stirring things. Usually stirring people up. Plus, I don't like the idea of the yeast sticking to the side. The side. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it sticking to the side. I'd rather it be in the in the wart. Brewing. And that is basically it, YouTubers. We're going to put the lid on. We're going to make sure it is airtight. And then we will add our airlock. So we're going to leave that for 8 to 15 days to ferment out fully. And then what will happen is you will subscribe and you will want to see a follow-up of bottling. Yes, bottling. Bottling. So don't forget to watch out for part two, bottling. I am Gizzy Greenfingers. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Ta-da. I don't like it getting too cold. <laughs>